Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, December 10th. And you can see uh, about 10 days ago, we talked about a storm that may uh, bring some snow to the area uh, for Saturday, but that uh, storm obviously went well to the south. And you can see with barometric pressures up around 30.6 inches here over the weekend, this is on Saturday, that storm stayed well to the south and really clobbered a lot of the areas around the Carolinas and into Virginia with uh, some reports of around two feet of snow down there. So a very significant storm around here, just mainly some clouds and some sunshine. Will become mostly sunny later today, but it'll still be cold. Highs around freezing, maybe 33 degrees. And then our next system will come in late in the week, could bring some snow, maybe a little bit of rain mixed in. But with that, behind that system, I think we turn uh, a little bit milder with highs possibly getting up around 40 on Saturday, maybe a little cool down and then maybe more in a way of uh, upper 30s and 40s as we get into uh, week two. And we'll uh, watch that system for later this week. Again, much like the system that uh, came through late last week and over the weekend in the deep south, we're watching the potential for some phasing of some northern energy along with the southern storm. And again, if these two were to uh, interact or phase quite a bit better, we could see more substantial uh, snow or mixed precipitation here late this week. And I think over the next 40 hours, that picture will become a little bit more clear. Our normal high is 34, the normal low is 20. And for yesterday, we had a high of 32, a low of 19. And again, you can see minimal precipitation so far for the beginning of December. And we're now down to uh, just a little bit above normal at 0.9 degrees per day. And if we look at the sunrise, it'll be 7.56 this morning. Sunsets at 5.02. And if we look at temperatures across the area this morning, mainly in the uh, mid-20s across the area, the warm spot, 27 in Nuevo, the cool spot down at Jasper at 23. And over the next couple of weeks, doing some remodeling at uh, Blissfield. So that station will be down. And then we have, looks like a computer down over there at the uh, Brockenridge Elementary School. We should get that up and running. Uh, sometime here this morning. And if we look at the satellite view this morning, you can see really not a whole lot going on across the Great Lakes. We do got a weak system that'll bring more in just the way of clouds for overnight tonight into Tuesday. But for today, plenty of sunshine. And then I think we'll see a little bit more in the way of sunshine on Wednesday before our next weather maker will approach from the northwest and from the southwest. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. You can see nothing on radar out this morning, clear and dry for the most part as far as precipitation goes across much of the Great Lakes. On the weather map this morning, again, a cold front and a reinforcing shot of cool air will come through the area. And then we're gonna watch this system. If we skip ahead, this is actually uh, Wednesday, not Friday. But this system here is gonna be uh, moving. And again, we'll have to wait and see if there's any interaction between that and also a potential for a new low to develop on that front. Again, we'll watch this for later on in the week. By Wednesday morning, by this time Wednesday morning, we should have a much better idea. But I do think there's at least a reasonably good chance we could see some snow that may even accumulate a little bit here as we get into uh, late Wednesday uh, night into early Thursday and then the more substantial uh, mixture of snow and then maybe a mixture of rain and snow will come in I think for uh, Thursday, Thursday night into Friday morning. As far as the uh, odds of seeing at least an inch of snow later on this week, this would be for Thursday, you can see about a 40 to 50 percent chance here across uh, portions of uh, west central lower Michigan. And again, we'll watch these odds here throughout the week as we get more model information here in the next couple of days. As far as precipitation, again, the best thought is, is the heavier amounts will be in the southern part of the state. And again, I think much of this will be in the form of snow, but uh, we'll have to watch. If there's more interaction, we'll see the heavier precipitation shift north. If there's a lesser of an interaction and that low tracks further south, we may stay uh, pretty uh, high and dry here even later this week. But uh, again, right now it's uh, at a difficult time for the models. So in about 24 to 48 hours, we should have a much clearer picture of what may happen later on this week. And again, no significant snow expected right now. Again, a lot of this will hinge on the development of that possible storm for later on this week. As far as extended outlook, once we get past that system, I think we're going to be uh, flooded with a lot of zonal type air. I think that'll mean uh, above to possibly much above, but certainly above normal uh, temperatures here over the next 6 to 10 and the 8 to 14 day outlooks with increasing amounts of precipitation uh, as we go through that period as well. So a little bit more stormy weather coming up here as we approach mid-month. But uh, for this week, you can see the forecast 
looks a little bit worse than it does, but again, we really do got to keep an eye on that Thursday, Thursday night system that could be a little stronger. Temperatures will slowly moderate through the week here with highs in the low 30s to begin. We may be up in our upper 30s, and then I think over the weekend, we may be close to 40 degrees on Saturday. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.